for the council and help me agree to, I'd call the member for Heffron. Mr. Regan, Speaker, it's not the concept of light rail that Labor is opposed to. It is the sheer incompetence in the way in which the CBD and South Eastern light rail project is being implemented. And those who should be condemned is not the Leader of the Opposition for holding the government to account, but the government themselves. Do I have to remind this House that when the project was first announced only in 2012, Despite the advice of, of Infrastructure New South Wales, it was announced at $1.2 billion. What is it today when they haven't laid one inch of track? It's up to $2.1 billion. It's more than 100 per cent overexpended with not one inch of track being laid. But governments often overspend their budgets and there's nothing unusual about that, particularly if it's a government that is incompetent like this one. Strong on rhetoric but very poor on implementation. So I will give the House some examples about this project. The first example I want to give is that as part of this project they wanted to put a light rail stop in front of Randwick Racecourse. Might sound reasonable, you put a light rail stop in front of the racecourse to service all those people going to the Australian Turf Club. The only problem was I told the Minister in a meeting, as did Randwick Council in a separate letter, you can't put a light rail stop in Randwick Racecourse because there happens to be a building in the way. The building is called the Australian Turf Club Administrative Building. Those views were completely ignored until the government let the contract to their contractors, all track. And guess what all track told the government? We can't put a light rail stop in front of Randwick Racecourse because there's a flaming building in the way. So what did they then do? They then moved the light rail stop to the other side of Allison Road. They took part of Centennial Park. They took, they took a whole heap of are about to take a whole heap of 100 year old historic trees and bike tracks and footpaths and gave $9 billion to Centennial Park for the, for, for, for the purpose. The point is that you're incompetent, you didn't even know there was a flame and building in the what way when you planned a light rail stop. Or, 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 or do I have to, or do I have to tell you about the stabling, the stabling yards? where you propose to build them. You paid $60 million to a developer to buy his land just east of Doncaster Avenue properties when Randwick Council had negotiated your stable yards for you on Randwick Racecourse behind Wormsley Road. You still paid $60 million to the developer and when you got told you can't put them there that the land floods, you think we'll just up it a couple of metres. I mean, the, the incompetence in relation to this project is absurd. But if you think that is crazy, you constructed a, out the Albert Tibby Cotter Bridge for $38 million. A bridge over Anzac Parade. A good, a nice bridge. Good bridge, says, says the member for Dremont. A, a, a good bridge. Your <laughs> General of New South Wales loves that bridge. He, he, he has exposed the absolute incompetence in the construction of this bridge. This bridge over Anzac Parade. This bridge that was going to take people from the light rail oh, yeah. stop to the Sydney Football Stadium and the Sydney Cricket Ground. Oh, All these thousands down. of people are going to go over the bridge. But guess what? The light rail stop isn't within cooey of their $38 million bridge. This is a level of incompetence. And I'll tell you what, just as well the Deputy Leader of the Liberal Party scurried out of the portfolio and gave it to the member for Bega, he's the, he, because it's like Faulty Towers. And he is the Spanish waiter trying to clean up this mess. But it, or alternatively, or alternatively, the light rail stop on, in Anzac Parade, Kingsford, in front of South Sydney Juniors, on the other side of the nine ways to service the Kingsford CBD. Come with me, Member for Dremoyne. You show me how you can walk from South Sydney Juniors to Kingsford CBD across the nine ways. You cannot do it. So the whole concept of this plan, then might I say, the, the actual route down to George Street has gone by, has been suggested by one of the government's greatest supporters. It's actually the Lord Mayor of Sydney, Clover Moore, who urged the implementation of, of, of the light rail down George Street. When you look at the implementation of it, the Leader of the Opposition condemns you because you do stand condemned. 
you're being held to account, which in theory should be a good policy, but in practice you really are a disgrace.